In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the new Gutenberg editor to create dynamic posts and pages on your WordPress website. So in 2018, WordPress made some changes and they brought in this Gutenberg editor, which you may have heard it being referred to as the blocks editor. Now this is entirely new experience and you might be quite familiar with the classic editor, which looks like this. This is kind of like a simple Microsoft Word document, and it's a simple way of you creating posts and pages on your WordPress website, but it's not very dynamic and you can't create fancy pages that you sometimes see being built with a page builder. So this is what the blocks, the new blocks editor looks like. Now the colors and the fonts may look a bit different on your WordPress website, and that is really down to your theme. So let's look at Gutenberg and why it is so awesome. So it's so awesome because it's automatically built into WordPress. It's really good for speed. You can do so much more with fewer plugins and you don't have to invest in a premium plugin like Elementor or Beaver Builder or Divi, which are all page builder tools. So for the purpose of this tutorial video, I've created a very simple wedding mockup, which includes background images, text, headings, buttons, and all sorts of things like that. And we are going to be using the Gutenberg blocks editor to create this page on my WordPress website. So diving into WordPress, I have a fresh and clean install of WordPress and I have the 2021 theme installed on my version of WordPress. So the first thing we're going to do is we are simply going to create a new page on our website. So we're going to come to pages and we're going to click add new. For the mockup, I am going to call it wedding and I'm simply going to save this as a draft. And as you can see, I'm working in the classic editor and that's because I have the classic editor plugin activated. So I'm going to actually deactivate that and I'm going to come back to my page and click edit. So now you can see I am in the blocks editor. Now with the blocks editor, there are three parts of the editor that I highly recommend you familiarize yourself with. Once you familiarize yourself with these three parts of the blocks editor, your whole process of building out your pages and your posts will become really quick and easy. So the first is this little icon in the top right hand side, which is your settings icon. So if you click on the settings icon, you can see we get kind of a focus screen, which we can work on without any distractions. Now to get it back, we simply click on it again. And once we click on it, we can see there are two tabs. So firstly, we've got the page tab. That's where you set the permalink, the featured image, discussion, page attributes, and kind of the status and the visibility. None of that has really changed from the classic editor. And the next tab is the block tab. And now that is the most important tab because that is where you are going to style your specific block. Now a block to explain is something like a paragraph, an image, a gallery, a heading, etc. So there are many different blocks to choose from. The next thing that's really important is where your blocks are and how to add in new blocks. So there are two plus icons on the blocks editor. You've got one in the top left and then you will have one on your page here. So you can either click here and this will give you a brief summary of the blocks that you can choose from and you can search in there or you can click on browse all. Alternatively, you can click up here and this will bring out all the blocks that are available to you and you can select the one that you want. So to show you again, there is paragraphs, there's headings, there are tables, there are galleries and images as well. To choose a block, you simply click on the one that you want. So let's say, for example, it's the image. You click on that. That will then put the block on your page and you can configure it by coming to this block tab here in the top right. Now, before we dive into customizing the blocks and how exactly each of them work, I want to show you the third thing that's really important. So that is this hierarchy at the bottom here. So you've got document and you have image. So this is a really easy way for you to pinpoint the actual block or section that you want to change. So if I click on image here, 
then the block will open up. But if I click around there, nothing happens. So if I click on image, that goes in there. This really comes in handy when you have columns and within the columns you have images or text or anything like that. So let me quickly show you how that works. So if we add a block and we add a column, let's say a 50-50 column, and within the column we add a paragraph with some text, we can then start to see the hierarchy changes. So you have the columns, which are those two columns. Then you have your single column. And within that, you have your paragraph. So I can see that when it, it shows the paragraph, here on the right-hand side, we've got the block and I'm editing the paragraph. If I click on column, then that block changes and I am just editing that specific column. And if I click on columns here, then I am editing both of these columns. So those are the three main things that you want to familiarize yourself with. So it's your settings, your block tab, your blocks here, and then your hierarchy down at the bottom. Some other things to note is on any of your blocks, you will see kind of this editing panel come up and you will see these three dots here on the right hand side. So if you click on that, then you can click on remove a block and that will take the block away. Likewise with this one, I can click on the three dots and I can remove the block. Now let's look at the different blocks available to us with the standard WordPress installation. So if we click on this plus icon here in the top left, that will bring up all the blocks available to us. So we have text blocks, we have media blocks, and we have design blocks, widget blocks, theme blocks, and embeds. Now there are many plugins that can extend the functionality of blocks available to you. And I will be doing a tutorial guide next week on my favorite plugin and theme that works with the Gutenberg blocks editor. So let's have a look at some really popular ones and the ones that we will be using today. So we'll be using the paragraph one, the heading. We'll also be using the image one, the cover one, and one called spacing. So there is your spacer. So this just adds some white space between your blocks and you can change the height of that spacing. I have uploaded all my images to my WordPress website and I can get started. But the first thing to note is that on our page, if we preview this, we can preview it in a new tab here. We can see that it's got the heading and it's got the footer and it only goes from this side of the page to this side of the page. And what we want is it to go all the way from the left to the right hand side. So what I'm going to use is a really nice and easy to install plugin called Full With Templates. And this works with any theme that you have. So we're going to click on WordPress here. We're going to go to our plugins and we're going to click on Add New. From here, we're going to type in Full With Template. Click enter and this is the one that we are going to install. Okay, so I previously had that installed, so I'm just activating it now and we are going to go back to our pages. Now, once you install and activate this plugin, you won't see much difference, but if you come into your blocks editor page again, you will see this new tab called template and you get an option to for that to go full width and full width without a header and a footer. So let's click that full width, no header, no footer, and let's preview this in another tab. So now we're basically working from a blank canvas. So let's get started and start with our first block. So we are gonna come here to the blocks and what we're looking for is the cover block. So you can scroll down or you can type in here cover. So we're gonna click on cover. And basically what the cover one is, is we having a background image with some text on top of that. If we want to, we can put an overlay um, on top of our background image. So we're going to either upload an image or choose one from a media library. And this is kind of the coloring as well. So let's go to our media library and we are going to find the image that we are using. So it's this one and we are going to select that image. Then we are going to pop in a title here and let me just copy it from here. 
and we are going to paste that in there. Then I just want to change something. So at the moment it is a paragraph, but what I want it to be is a heading and I would like it to be centered. And the other thing is now if we go to our blocks here on the right hand side is we can change the sizing of this. So let's make it 32 pixels and the line height's fine and I can either choose a custom color for my text or I can just choose this white color. We then want to add in another heading that says images that tell your love story. Let's copy that. And we're going to click on this blocks editor here. We're adding in a heading, paste that in there. We are going to change this to a H3 tag. So these are heading tags and we're going to center align it. We're going to change this to 14 pixels. And now, as you can see, it's below the other heading. So what we need to do is we need to click on this button here to move it up and that is exactly where we want it to be. So let's have a preview of that first section. And we can see that looks fine. However, it is quite, um, the height of it is quite low. So we're going to increase that height. So if we want to get back to this background image, then we come here to this hierarchy at the bottom left, click on cover. And we can come scroll down here and we can change this minimum height to something like 720. And I want to take the overlay off this. So let's reduce that to about that. And let's have a preview now. Okay, so that is looking a lot better and definitely on our way to looking like our mockup. Okay, so the next section of our mockup looks like this. It's got two columns and in each column we've got two, an image here and an image there. We've got some text here and an image. So coming back to our blocks editor, we're going to click on this button here. We're going to find columns and then within our columns, we are going to actually choose um, this 333. The reason I'm choosing that is because if I only choose two, then when we preview our website, it's going to come from the left to the right. And I don't want that to happen. So if I choose four, I can leave this one empty and this one empty and just have the content in the middle. So what I'm going to do is come to this columns here and I'm going to increase this to four and then I'm going to start putting in the content. So let's add a block. Let's add an image. We're going to get it from our media library. There's our image. And we're going to add another image under that. And on the side, we are going to add in a heading. Okay, and let's preview this in a new tab. Okay, that is starting to look a lot better, but what we don't have is spacing in between there and I want this to have a little bit more spacing. So let's have a look. And if we come here in between this image and that image, there's a little add block. So what we're looking for now is our spacer block. And we're going to click on that. That gives us a height, but we can kind of change that to probably about 40 pixels. You can also change it here. And you can also type in the figure and let's preview that now. There we go. That is starting to really take shape. So let's add another spacer block in here. Let's make that about 70 pixels. And yeah, and we might want to change this around a little bit if we want to. Okay, so let's go on to this next section, which I want to make this kind of a parallax section. And you might have seen this being done on other websites. So it kind of scrolls over. So what we are going to be doing here is adding in a cover again. We're going to get our image from our media library. Okay, we want to first click on this cover here. So in the hierarchy, we want to make sure that there's no overlay on this one. And the minimum height is maybe around 660. There's no title. 
Here we go. And what we want to do is we want to click this media setting that says fixed background. And let's have a preview. And there we go. We've got a nice parallax image. If we want to, we can write some text on top of that. Next section is two columns again. So we're going to do like we did before. And we're simply going to come here, choose columns. We're going to go for the three. And remember, we go to columns here and we're going to increase it to four. And this is where we add in our image. And then we're going to add in a heading. And then we can add in some paragraph text. Let's just try and center align everything here. Go. You don't actually have to highlight everything. You just simply need to click on the block in order to align that text. Now, one thing I do want to show you is if you go to columns and you've got this button here so you can change the alignment so you can actually click full width. So now we can start to see what it looks like. Let's make it full width. So this is actually what it looks like on the front end of your website. There we go. So it's much easier to edit now. This text is all way too big. So I just want to make it 14, maybe 16 pixels. So the where your font styling and everything comes from is from your theme. So you need to obviously style that in your theme or get a theme that is easy to customize and style. And that is something I am going to be teaching in my next video that will be coming out next week. So let's have a preview. And there we go. And the only thing that we need to do is probably work on the spacing and alignment. So for this last section, we're going to add in a testimonial, which has a blue background color, an image and some text. And I'm going to come into my blocks editor. I'm going to click on here and I'm going to add in a column. So it's a 100% width column. Let's just click on the column and there we go. Just make sure it's a full width. Remember, this hierarchy is really great for narrowing down and getting to the exact section you want to amend. So we want to put in a color here um, for this. I am just going to let's see if my Figma is open and grab the color I want. And let's paste that in here. So custom color, you put in your hex code there, paste that in there. And there is our color. As you see, uh, and that's our custom color. So that's great. Then what we're going to add in is an image from our media library. So this one, select that. And we do want to align this center. So you can click on this and you can click center. And then we're going to add in a, another bit of paragraph text, which has this. We're going to paste that in. And we just want to make sure it's all in one line. And we're going to align that center. We can also then change the font size if we want. So let's make it 20 pixels, maybe even more than that, 30. And the last thing we're going to do is just add some more text under this. So you simply press enter and then I can put in the name of the couple. And we'll center align that too. And then I'm just going to make that 14 pixels. Okay, let's have a preview. And there we go. It is all looking good. The only thing that I would change is possibly the spacing and the fonts and everything is really, really down to the theme that you are using. So let's add in some spacing. So I'm going to add enter. We're going to choose a block do the spacer settings and remember we can move this up as we want and if we want we can also click on the three dots and we can duplicate that and then we can move that down to there and let's preview that 
and there we go. So it's not 100% in alignment with my mockup because the font is a little bit different, but as you can see, it's pretty easy to create beautiful dynamic layouts using the new blocks editor. There's absolutely nothing to fear. Um, and as long as you know those three things, and I'm just going to recap them for you. So the first is knowing where your settings button is and this block tab. The next thing, which I think is the most important thing to know is your hierarchy here. So knowing how to exactly get down to what you want to edit. And then the third thing is your toggle block block inserter and that's where you can find all the blocks to create your posts and your pages so guys if you liked this tutorial guide then please like it share it and drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of it and if you have any questions please also drop them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to my channel next week i'm going to be doing an awesome video tutorial guide on a plugin that I always use to extend the blocks. So that gives you a little more blocks to work with. And actually it makes it even easier and a theme I use whereby it's easy to customize your fonts and to choose all the Google fonts. So thanks again. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video.